Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Darth Maud Empire for Empire Total War. Don't worry, we are still continuing our Imperial Destroyer Russia campaign. This is just another Let's Play alongside it. We're not quitting the other one, we're still continuing, and there should be a video for that up in another day or two. So, we're going to be running these uh, parallel to each other. This one, we're going to be playing as Poland-Lithuania on a normal, normal campaign in Darth Maud Empire. I have changed the background music, so it's not your normal Darth Maud music. It's from Empire in Ruins, the soundtrack mod for Empire Total War. I found the music actually, it, it suits my taste a little better. I, I kind of prefer it over the uh, Darth Maud music when I'm playing, and especially the loading screen music. It, it's a lot more in tune to the aspect of the game. So let's go ahead and we'll do a, a grand campaign here, doing the DME early. We're going to pop over here to this saucy little flag and pull it. Look at the hair on this guy. And the eyebrows. This guy is going to conquer Europe just by that, just by that eyebrow. It's going to make everybody submit to him. We're going to do the short campaign, doing four turns per year. Capture and hold 15 regions by 1750 including Galicia and Podolia, Poland, Brandenburg, Austria, Lithuania, Belarus, and Volhynia. And that's saucy. None of these uh, little things. But Poland is an old idea, and an old kingdom, and like anything old, it has enmities and problems. The problems and enmities are those of any state surrounded by ambitious rivals, all of whom are looking to become stronger at someone else's expense. Well, that's unfortunate. Sweden's ambition is to create an empire around the Baltic. Tsar Peter's desires to make Russia a great European power to rival the style of Bourbon France. The Austrians and Prussians each seeking to define a greater Germany and secure their borders. Even the distant Ottomans have to be considered. Should they ever launch a new assault on Christian Europe? And in the middle of all this, a Polish-Lithuanian state that is not under the control of a single strong ruler, a man who can impose his will to defend his people. Instead, Poland is something altogether stranger, a land where the people have a say in government. Sounds absolutely atrocious, does it not? Well, let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll see if we can uh, tickle some Turks and perhaps peruse some Prussians. Your first priority ah. should be to keep the fragile Commonwealth together. Oh, goody. There are many threats to its security from all sides. Oh, boy. Prussia has imperial ambitions and desires to connect its fractured territory. No. Sweden and Russia are squaring up for war, while the Austrian Empire already controls much of the region and may expand eastward. Oh, dear. It is unlikely that the territories of Poland-Lithuania will survive entirely unscathed. And no, your borders we will. must be well defended. Polish territory is also under threat from the south. No. Galicia and Podolia borders the Crimea. Belarus and Volhynia borders Russia. The Turks ain't a threat. The Ottoman Empire may renew their quest for a greater European foothold. Never. If so, there will inevitably be clashes with both Russia and Austria. So a wily national leader could secure a black seaport from the Crimea. Nasty. This would give Poland a clear line of trade to the Baltic and make it considerably richer in the process. Money? It would also be sensible to ally with larger nations that may mm -hmm. be able to assist Poland should her immediate neighbors attack. France. France, Britain, and Sweden are good candidates for trade and alliance partners. Are they now? Well, goodbye, lady. Please shut up. I don't want to hear you anymore. We're currently at the start of the bat here, making 8,551 next turn. Our, uh, pr our president? I don't know, it was the king. The king is elected. That's interesting. August the 2nd. He's 30. Looks more like he's 75. He is an army enthusiast, which is quite good, and an enlightened despot. A believer in name only. So he's actually not too bad. He's pretty good. But, as usual, I'm going to lower the taxes by a notch here. Because we're very nice and we like to grow our towns. Ministers. Oh, God, what the hell's bells is that? 
two star, morally impaired, who put this guy here? Let me at him. And this navy, atrocious, absolute, no, vile. Instant election. There we go. There, we've, we've wiped the slate clean. What's this guy, he's, he's better, plus one to treasury. Yeah. This guy, oh, he's terrible at treasury, but it doesn't matter because he's the head anyway. Justice guy. Minister of War. Plus one to management, that's pretty good. The Navy guy. He's actually pretty good for the Navy, so that that's pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm very pleased with how that went. I think that went very well. So, let's not uh, fret over the government anymore. Here we have... Pavel Vos, I don't know how that's pronounced, but we're doing it that way. Uh, we have Alexander Zudonha Shlobaitan here, and we're gonna assassinate him. I hope. Ah, he was executed. That's disgusting. Well, since we've had our first defeat, let's go ahead and place this uh, gentleman in Krakow and have him research some square formation. We're going to be doing some rather interesting tactics in order to succeed as Poland early in the game here. The Prussians. They're a tad bit of an issue. And you see their troops, they are quite superior. They've got line infantry and quite a few artillery batteries, and their troops are pretty good. We've just got militia and pikemen across the board here. We actually have absolutely no line infantry, and that does not favor us too well at the start of this campaign. So what are we going to do? We're going to take Kazimierz Potocki. Potocki, however you pronounce this guy. Kazimierz. He's going to go to Gdansk and he's going to garrison for a minute. We are going to war with Prussia fairly soon. Probably next turn. Because we're going to get up some recruitment here in a moment. And I'm going to show you how we're going to tickle about with them in Königsberg. Our first movement of hostilities, however, is going to be joining these troops with Stanislaw... Poniatowski here, and he's going to go after Moldavia quite quick. We want to secure that rather fast. Over here in Lithuania, we're going to consolidate these forces at Fort Panamuna, something saucy name, yeah, because they're going to reinforce when we attack Königsberg with Kazimierz Potokai here. Potokai, this guy, the pot man. The pot man is going to attack East Prussia. He's going to Get them all lit. Let's bring our missionary, Catholic missionary, down to Moldavia. So we've gotten our opening moves sorted out, and that's quite nice. What we're going to do now is we're going to build up all the infrastructure, because we can make cobbled roads. It's quite nice. We already have basic roads, as a lot of countries don't actually start with that. So we're pretty good infrastructure-wise. We're going to recruit line infantry here in Warsaw. We're using the additional units mod, so we have the availability of Eastern European infantry mercenaries. They are pretty good to start off. They got 37 accuracy and a morale of 7. Highly superior to our militia at the beginning. And they hold quite well. They're not bad. I've used them quite a bit. We're going to get the Albanian warband down here. Because they're really the only uh, firelock troops we can recruit in... Galicia right now. So we're going to bring them into the fold. We are going to also do pikemen in Gdansk here. Just as some reinforcement. It's not too bad. And we're going to pop into some trade next. We are indeed going to want to trade with Sweden here. Let's see, can we actually get an alliance out of them? No, they don't want that. How about just a trade agreement then? They're delighted. So am I. Austria, would you like to be our ally? 4,700. Oh, you know what? That's tempting. Because we could really use them in the fight against the Ottomans. Hoping that they actually accept and join us. We're going to take it. We do need a friend. We're not going to trade with the Ottomans. Pretty sure we're going to go to war with Crimea. They're probably going to support the Ottomans. But we'll just open that trade for the sake of it anyway. And now that we have done that, we can go ahead and build up 
some of our towns. We're going to make the governor's residence. Let's do the smaller ones first. There we go. Now we know what we've got to work with here. I want the barracks, or the army encampment, then the barracks in Vilnius, and the cannon foundry as well. So everything else is pretty all right. Let's see, we can make the opera house here in Warsaw. Plus two per turn to town wealth. And the government chambers, plus 9% bonus to region tax. That's certainly going to be helpful. So we'll get that. And the government council here in Lithuania. Anything else? Pretty much just the admiralty there. And the opera house here. Let's go for the opera house. And we're not going to bother with the admiralty at the moment. We're instead going to put this money into building up this iron workshop here, because that gives us a lot of region wealth assistance. And what's going to happen next is we're going to take Stanislaw here and we're going to go after Moldavia. Let's call our allies. Oh yeah, Austria joined us. Denmark didn't, but who cares, they're useless at this point. Oh, brilliant. Saucy. They've got 100, 860, I mean. Garrison Azars and some Arabian armed populace. So not too much to worry about, really. We have got our militia and tons of pikemen. And we've got cavalry. They're going to be instrumental in this fight here. Let's go ahead and save this up. Please excuse all my save games. I do a lot of mods. There we go. Let's assault Moldavia. And here we are, the saucy little battlefield. Let's go ahead and put our general over here by, looks like this ruined church. That's unfortunate. Fall into a bit of disrepair there. Let's get our militia. And we're going to play with them in the center here. Put one of our pikemen on the flank near this little uh, terrain formation. And we're going to move up our militia here so that they're in the center of the pikemen, and there are other pikes on the right flank there. And we're going to take our provincial cavalry, and we're going to have them over here on the right flank. Let's see, I like the pikemen uniform for Poland. They're very snazzy. I, I quite like it. I find the pikemen for some of the other country to be rather boring, so... Looks like they've taken up defenses behind this wall with these Azars. What the heck are they wearing? Interesting. Very colorful outfit. Let's try and move our militia down this way, ever so gently, as to try not to be shot by the Azars. Let's send the pikemen... Send the pikemen this way. They'll go around the flank on the right. And I'll have our provincial cavalry support them by moving down. Pikemen, let's have them form behind this wall over here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try and have our militia up the center. And this is going to try and uh, make them move around a little bit. Because we're going to have our pikemen and our cavalry attack from the flanks. Looks like they're actually moving up these Arabian armed populace to support their center. Not quite sure how good they're going to be at really making any impact at all. And we'll continue moving up our militia. Let's just move them around the side here. Because they have the troops behind those walls. It might just be handier. Then we'll wheel our cavalry into position. We'll get them ready for a bit of a charge in the flank there. Ah, yes, he has indeed started moving his troops. So we will move up. Let's send in the cavalry and the pikemen against their armed populace. Yes, indeed. The great thing is that the armed populace can't shoot. The strictly melee defense troops. And they're not that great.
Here we go. So I love that music. That's just brilliant. It's really well put together. Oh, yeah, the way, oh, that, the, yeah. The way that comes in. Oh, this is brilliant. Perfectly fantastic stuff. However, I'm afraid it's done that thing again where it's gotten quite loud. Just let's go ahead and... Oh, he's firing at us. Charge of the garrison as ours. Start moving up. These guys are shaking. They're not going to last very long. Get into those Azars. They're actually pulling back. A couple of these guys are standing here saying, oh, what are we doing? So let's have them chase them. We want to try and get these Azars. And we'll move up our militia. Come on, guys. Oh, there they go. The garrison Azars have also shattered. Well, things are going quite well. <laughs> I'll admit, they're, they're going very, very well. Okay, we've got these pikemen here. So let's put them once again down the left flank. And these pikemen are going to be quite satisfactory on the right. There we go, and we can actually move up our general. Maybe we can have him take part in some frolicking in the field. This other unit here is also garrison as ours. Let's move up our militia. We've only taken a couple casualties. They have not really suffered much at all, so it's quite good. We're having our pikemen carry quite a bit of the battle. And that's because the Ottomans they're mostly melee troops at the start of the early campaign. And as we can see by this, the ground littered with absolute dead people. They're not doing too well. Let's keep moving up. Keep applying the steady pressure of movement against him. get those cavalry around the back. They're just a garrison unit, so hopefully they shouldn't... Oh, there they go. They're starting to shoot. Let's send our regiment of horse down. Pikemen. Send them in on them. Advance the militia, too. It's already pulling back. That's pretty good. Oh, we're very nearly one now. There we go. Let's get the pikemen to get a good charge in there. There we go. Provincial cavalry have gotten them pretty stuck in. Alright, let's pull back the cavalry now. There we go. And now the pikemen should have a good go at them. Oh dear, our militia stopped firing. They shot our own pikemen. And our cavalry are wavering. So let's just get them out of there for now. What we're going to do is bring them around this way. Try and cut off their uh, retreat there. There we go. I'd say that's pretty uh, sufficient. There we go, we got him pretty good. And that's the capture of Moldavia right there for you. Heroic victory indeed.